Hi, I'm Brian Moses, founder of Brian Moses Coaching and Seminars. I just got back from a real estate workshop that I did here in my hometown. And one of the agents asked me after the event about an opportunity that was presented to them about advertising in sh grocery carts, shopping carts at the supermarket. And I kind of chuckled and I remembered back in my real estate days having done that and spent several thousands of dollars and didn't get much in return for it other than people knew who I was. So there's a few thoughts that I have as I talk about advertising and want to share this message of, from the school of hard knocks and experience that I painfully went through. One is, just because people know who you are doesn't mean they're going to call you. Okay, we all know people in our marketplace that know who we are, but don't always use us. So the goal in marketing is to attract leads, not to generate more name recognition, number one. The second thing that I want to let you know is that there's three types of media. Shopping carts is an example of a type of media. And the th three types fall into these buckets. Expensive, costly, things that are you know, over $500 for a campaign or an initiative. Um, and billboards, TV, radio, shopping carts, bus benches, those things fall into that, that criteria. Then there's inexpensive, inexpensive media. Um, things that are less than $500, flyers, ads, um, direct mail can be inexpensive. It could also go into the inexpensive category. And then there's things that are free. So I want you to think about free, inexpensive, and expensive. And I said to this agent, are you already taking advantage of and exploiting all the free and inexpensive opportunities before you consider this expensive, costly opportunity? And they said, not really. So my advice to somebody when po uh, posed with a decision about advertising is make sure that you build your business from the foundation up. The second point, I was on a call just moments ago, literally, and there's a difference between branding and attracting business. We want to make sure that you have the proper components in your message. So regardless of what media you're using, you want to make an offer in your marketing. I, I spent tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars early in my career promoting my name, promoting my company, and to no avail. So you want to, in marketing, you want to convey a message, a offer that somebody would respond to, either a buyer or a seller. So for example, you know, selling your Sacramento home this year, find out what it's worth instantly. Visit www.californiahomeprices.com. So that message is short, it's sweet, it's concise, and the only people that would go to that offer is people that are selling their Sacramento home. So it's a good message to market match if you're looking for home sellers. You wanna do the same thing with buyers. If you'd like more information on advertising, lead generation, lead conversion, coaching, or how we can help you grow and accelerate your business, please visit brianmoses.com and or and or leave a comment below here with any questions that you have and i'd be happy to answer them for you have a great day and make it a special year bye bye